welcome to my YouTube channel, Power Driven for PD. I'm excited to share with you an exciting, inspirational surprise that I've started. It's actually called The Message of Hope in a Twist of Art. Now for me, being diagnosed at a young age with Parkinson's disease was not an easy pill to swallow, and that's really no puns intended. Really, it left me feeling hopeless and defeated and depressed as I actually sat in the doctor's office getting my official diagnosis of having an incurable and progressive disease. I felt like at the time my hopes and dreams and career all came to a screeching halt as the words of my diagnosis actually poured out of the doctor's mouth. I at the time became severely depressed and I really tried to close myself off from the world, from the most important people in my life, which were my friends and my family and my children. To put it simply, I really I just gave up on life. After a year went by of feeling sorry for myself, my oldest son at the time wrote me a letter, a letter I like to call hope, telling me how proud he was of me and of all my accomplishments I did in life, and most importantly, not to give up on hope and to fight because I was important in their life, which is my children's, and he wanted to keep his mom as a part of his life. So that's exactly what I did. That letter then became my wake up call. What kind of example was I setting for the most important people in my life? Well, I decided it was time to persevere and become stronger than my disease and show my children just how strong their mom was going to be to become a fighter. And I finally realized the fact that I couldn't change that I had Parkinson's. It actually became a part of me, but what I could control was how I responded to my disease. That was something that I had complete control over. So I started reaching out to others who experienced adversity in their lives, and I wanted to make a change in people's lives who needed help. So I actually became an advocate to help others. And at that time, I also needed an outlet of my own, really a break away from my disease. And that's when I decided to revisit my former passion, which was painting. See, I gave this up after my diagnosis, thinking I couldn't do any more. For me, Parkinson's affects my body, not only having to deal with insomnia, stiffness, rigidity, tremor, slowness, but it all affects my ability to grip things like a simple pencil, paintbrush, or just painting in general. And not to mention my body moves around a lot from my muscle contractions. Well, if I was going to fight back, why not challenge my favorite pastime of painting and use my former skills? I also work out every single day to help with the stiffness and rigidity, which is extremely important to Parkinson's patients. So in addition to working my body and mind, I also wanted to work my creativity side of my brain. So I started painting again as I finished each painting, I would show my work to my friends and family and strangers. Look, Parkinson's has its challenges all in itself, but when you add painting to the challenges of what Parkinson's does to your body, which mind you is different for each individual, well, let's just say sometimes it can really be a challenging task. <laughs> I started overcoming these obstacles really with determination and perseverance to create paintings that I thought others would enjoy looking at. I learned how to work with my body and stop fighting with it by waiting until my medications were working at their best optimal use for my body, which does help to ease some of those symptoms. As I started showing and talking about my accomplishments with art with people and how it was helping me overcome my challenges and learning to love painting again, that's when people started telling me, you should sell your paintings as an inspiration for others facing challenges in their lives to show them hope, not to give up or give in in challenging events that can happen in life, but to show the positive side, the message behind the paintings. That's when I decided to share not only this inspirational message of hope, but also my artwork as a constant reminder to individuals who do face challenges. That's when the idea hatched to start my Etsy account and make my paintings into fun pieces of art that would be positive and inspirational and most importantly, affordable to everyone because it's about the message behind the art that is truly important. In fact, I'm wearing one of my t-shirt designs and here are some of my artwork available for purchase too on my Etsy account. I really want owners of my art to look at those pieces that I have created and have it be a constant reminder to them of the power of hope 
perseverance to never give up and to believe in yourself and the power of hope. So I hope you enjoy my work and the message behind the pieces I have created. Whether you buy one of my mugs, t-shirts, wall paintings, prints, or tote bags, I keep the prices low because I want you to enjoy them and the message behind them. Please continue to check out my art and designs as I'll be adding new creations to enjoy. I hope, I hope you take the time to check out my Etsy account. It's called Art by Jim and Cher. Jim is my husband and he's my inspiration every day. That's why I have his name tagged in there. Also, I'll leave my Etsy account link below for you. Thanks.